in the book of Proverbs, <clears throat> chapter 1, and verse 7, the Bible says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. <clears throat> I named my channel Proverbs 9, 10. And that verse says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. You know, in your King James Bible, 53 times you find the words, Fear not. But there are some things <clears throat> we should fear. I'm probably the most guilty I know of worrying about things, and I know I shouldn't worry. And I know all the Bible verses, but I am not perfect. And a lot of times I have a lot of anxiety about uh, things of the job and things going right. And really all you have to fear is the Lord. Put your fear in him. <clears throat> Look at verse 24 in uh, Proverbs 1. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have said it not all my counsel, ye didn't listen to me, and would none of my reproof. <clears throat> have you ever been chastised by the Lord? If you haven't, uh, you better uh, analyze your faith, because he says if you've not been chastised, you're a bastard, not a son. Verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you. Again, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, folks. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. And did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of the, uh, my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. You know what the Bible defines a fool? A fool uh, is one that says there is no God. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. You know, I, uh, I, I stand at amazement. I have uh, people that I love and know uh, that claim to know the Lord, <clears throat> and yet they can live uh, with fornication, adultery, they can uh, curse and uh, just blaspheme the Lord and with no fear of God whatsoever in them. It just, uh, I just, uh, a lot of Bible commentators say, well, the fear of the Lord is actually reverence. And I get what they're saying. Let me tell you something, folks. I fear God. I fear judgment. A lot of the times, the reason I live straight, the reason I don't do things is because, first of all, I love the Lord and I want to serve Him. Second of all, I fear reaping what I sowed. If there's anything, I'm 58 years old now. <laughs> And if there's anything I've learned in this lifetime, you will reap what you sow. Even, you know, you reap uh, stuff you sowed before you got saved. You're still going to reap it and sow it. It's just a Bible doctrine. Now, we're not to uh, fear 
uh, a lot of things. We're not to have, be anxiety over a lot of things. But there are some things you should fear. And uh, let's go to Matthew chapter 10. I can go to Luke also, but I'll keep it as short as I can. Matthew chapter 10 and verse 28, it says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. So there are, is someone you should fear. You should fear God. That's the beginning, the very first thing. The very first thing, if you want knowledge, if you want uh, good horse sense, we call it in the South, you got to fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Anyway, and so, but, you know, Jesus, when he came to the uh, disciples after his resurrection, he said over and over, fear not, fear not, for I am with you. We don't have to fear anything because we have the Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit of God with us, walking with us. And uh, you should not have to fear man. You should not have to fear or be ang uh, have anxiety over uh, anything in this world. Now, that's easy for me to say. <laughs> and, uh, of course, I will be the first to uh, get anxiety a lot of times. Uh, and that's a fault, a uh, failing of mine. But one thing I can tell you that I truly do I truly do fear the Lord. I think the biggest mistake this country has ever made is they have lost the fear of God. There is no fear of God in their eyes. Uh, Paul said, there's no fear. They, they're not worried about any consequences. They're not worried about hell. They're not even worried about the consequences in this lifetime. Now they'll just go out and uh, commit crimes on the street, beat women. Things that you just never would have heard of uh, years ago. If, if it ever happened, it happened so rare that it would have made major news. Now it's an everyday occurrence. Uh, there's no fear of God. There's nothing but the spirit of Antichrist out on that street today. And believe me, folks, I'm on that road. I am out all the time. You have to keep your guard up. You have to watch out because there's people I have been. I've had people try to rob me going from my truck to the truck stop. But if we'll just put our fear where the fear should be in God, fearing God, I believe he, he'll protect you. Um, and if he doesn't, what's the worst can happen? <laughs> so threatening you with heaven. This world is not our home, folks. We are of uh, a different world, a different city. We're looking for a city New Jerusalem, and uh, praise God for that. Anyway, I hope that uh, this might have helped some of you. If you can go through life sinning and doing whatever the world you think you want, and you don't have any fear of God, I question your salvation immensely. I am so sick and tired of fake Christians, someone that will uh, say, oh, I'm a Christian, but as soon as any term or any uh, strife comes up, they blame God and turn right back to the vomit. They go right back to the pig's uh, waller, and that just irks me to no end. There is no fear of God in their eyes. Anyway, God bless you, folks. Read these Bibles, for therein you will find truth. The only truth in this world, folks, is right here in this King James Bible. Uh, and 
I hope that, uh, hope maybe this helped somebody. I know I, I was just, I'm venting. I'm trying to get some frustrations out of my own life. But I do fear God. Uh, I think in Luke it says fear. Don't, uh, he said, I forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him that can destroy the soul. Don't fear him that's going to kill the body. But you guys have a blessed day. And uh, read these things. Read these books, folks.